it is one of the saddest thing ever that you have been working for a while and for some reasons you had to let go from your current company and you're back to the job market. However, being in the job market for a very long time and you have no interviews, no job offers, and even if you already have many years of work experience, then you look around, why on earth your friends already land a high paying job offer at $500,000 per year working for one of those tier one companies in a short amount of time? And what's going on given you already have years of experience and maybe a fresh graduate, you have no interview opportunities at all. Prolonged job hunting is considered as the number two contributor to people's stress. In this video, I'm gonna break down the secrets behind the hiring manager's recruiting portal. Why on earth? nobody will hire you in this today's job market and how to fix the problem to quickly lend you the other half million dollars paycheck as well. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I'm going to share with you the bonus tip regarding LinkedIn algorithm hack to make sure that you are going to flow up in the top of the application pile among thousands of candidates. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product featured in Forbes. I have helped thousand people land their dream TM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about free product management training and tech trends. Like and subscribe, check out our new video every Tuesday. The number one shocking news about today's job market is that there's a lot of fake job opening out there. According to the CNBC news that four out of 10 companies admit that they posted fake job openings online in 2024. And three out of 10 companies today, they still have existing fake job openings that's out there to collect candidates' resume without even inviting them for interview. And guess what? Among the fake job openings, 85% of those hiring managers actually invite candidates to do screening process to do the first round of interview. This is literally one of the biggest scams in the job hunting market today. And the company is literally unethically put fake job openings to play the emotions of candidates. And the two main reasons they did it. Number one, they just want to collect lots of resumes for the future job openings. And number two, the existing employers is gonna get replaced by new people. So they must work really hard. So let's read out of the candidates control that company just intentionally play around those candidates. However, good news is that there is a specific hack to filter those fake job openings. The hack is number one, take a look at the job opening, see how old it is. The job opening is already on the market for a very long time. It's likely they either haven't find the perfect candidate or they're just there to collect the resume. And the second reason the future this out is when you go for any job interviews, make sure that to ask lots of upfront questions. How is this role contributing to a long-term strategy roadmap for the company? Is this a backfill position or is something you want to grow in your company? So ask those real life scenario for the specific job, it's going to test out it's a real job or just put it out there for fake applications. The second reason you won't get hired in this job market was because companies have changed the strategies. For example, Cisco already announced second layoff of this year and total they're laying off 15% of the employees globally. At the same time, there's still job openings on their uh, website and saying that they're hiring more product managers or any other roles out there. When you look closer into strategic reasons why they lay off employees and the company clearly said that. The reason of their layoff is about they shifting their strategic initiatives into cybersecurity, cloud, and AI. Therefore, it's quite difficult for existing employees just lay low, do little work. You will soon be captured and replaced by the new employees and make sure that you upscale yourself to move into the trend of the new strategic in initiative within the company. Uh, this is not just Cisco alone. And currently, I already have students working for Apple, Amazon, Google, all the tier one companies. Through those insider information, which is performance improvement plan, try to slowly lay off them. And guess what? they also hire new product managers in the AI domain to replace the existing product manager. So the total amount of people working for Amazon is the same, but they're constantly shifting new people in and laying off older employees. Even one of my students, she was seven months pregnant, she was still put on the performance improvement plan so that the companies have the good excuse to lay her off before she go on maternity leave. This sounds extremely unethical, I totally hate this process, but as a candidate in the job market, we must really learn how to protect ourselves and upscale ourselves. So for example, it's clearly a trend. Lots of companies want to move into AI. So therefore I highly recommend everybody to take 
some AI classes. Learn those AI basics, fundamental classes, so that you're ready when the really big wave of change is happening within the company, you're less likely getting replaced. And I have curated top eight AI courses for product managers. Make sure to go to this website and download all the eight courses and start taking this for free starting from today. However, learning about those AI knowledge is just the fundamental step one, but lots of companies, they want people to have hands-on experience building AI product by working in a team. That's why when Cisco posts its new job openings asking for senior product manager positions, it clearly talk about the existing hands-on experience with AI. Even with NPM Accelerator, we have seen the pressure of changing things in the product management training space. That's why we introduced AI product management bootcamp. And within our first cohort, we already have 32 product managers with 20 software developers and we are building eight real life AI projects for people to gain hands-on experience. You can learn about methodology for free by attending the free AI product management workshop and figure out how would you be able to gain your hands-on AI product management experience as well. I'm gonna link the free AI product management workshop in the description of this video. But lots of people say, hey Nancy, I'm not interested in AI. I think it's overrated turn. Yes, but you should also look into other strategic initiatives within different kind of company beyond AI. Let me give a specific example, TikTok. This year's initiative for TikTok is to create TikTok shops. So that's why TikTok hired lots of people with e-commerce experience to join TikTok instead of hiring a traditional product manager work on creator platforms. And as I'm speaking right now, last week, I literally negotiate another half million dollars paycheck for people to join TikTok as a senior product manager. And the person only had two years product management experience was able to get paid at half million dollars just because her past experience was in alignment with the strategic initiative within the company. So therefore, regardless this AI or non-AI, I recommend everybody really try to figure out what's your unique strength that's going to be alignment with your future employer's strategic initiative. This is going to get you hired much faster and also being able to negotiate high paying job offers. The third reason you're not getting hired in this in today's job market is that you don't know how to brand yourself on LinkedIn and on resume. This is anytime we go to any job openings on LinkedIn, you can see that thousands of people applied. Now, let me show you the behind scenes truth, how competitive the job market is right now. I just post a new AI engineer internship job openings working for PM Accelerator, my own company. And guess what? Within 17 hours, I was able to get over 500 applicants. The job posting itself has over 1,600 impressions, which means that over one third of candidates who read the job description decide to apply for the specific job openings within 17 hours of me posting the job at midnight. As I am filming this video right now, there's still like hundreds of candidates applying for the specific job working for my small company. And can you believe that if you're applying for jobs for large companies, or fan companies, or even like Walmart, those kind of um, large companies, there will be thousands of job applicants within the same day for sure. In this situation, how to really outbeat your competition? Let me show you the behind scenes secret of LinkedIn algorithm. Specifically, this is a recruiter portal of the AI software engineer interns working for my company. And you're able to see there are hundreds of candidates in this job portal who already applied. And on top of that, the job portal is mainly focused on skill based. LinkedIn automatically identifies several top skills at the job on menu for me to select those top candidates and also help me to raise those top candidates based on the scale match of the job descriptions. They also use AI to automatically guess what the top skills they need based on the JD itself. So therefore, to stand out from thousands of applicants, you must make sure your resume is going to match the keywords of the job description and especially those important skills that reflect it in the job description. Uh, as I'm showing on this demo right here, after I select any specific skill set, I was able to quickly nail down from hundreds of applicants into one third of those applicants. So if you're missing those important skill set, immediately your resume will not be reviewed at all by hiring managers. But I'm also very sad to see that lots of senior product managers out there, they only talk about their product 
impact, but they didn't talk about the related most important experience and skills that's important for senior product managers. Many of them use the wrong keywords on the resume, maybe just writing requirement. Um, however, as a senior product manager, they're looking for more advanced skills such as like leading or creating a strategic initiative, aligning product visions, and mentor junior product managers. And in this video right here, where I break down different kind of keywords and skill set for different levels of product managers, all the way from entry level to senior PM, director, and VP level, so that you know what to put on your resume to hit all the keywords. Hitting the keyword just like hitting the like button of this video so that I have more motivation to help you guys to let more job offers moving forward. So make sure to like this video and let's continue. And on your resume, you also need to keep a balance between keywords, skill set, and versus your achievement. Because once your resume was able to filter based on the keywords, the rest is about your achievement to show that your past experience or related product is very relevant to the new job. So therefore, your achievement needs to stand out, but you also need to find a balance between achievement and the keywords so that you're not going to lose focus on either side. I have three product management resume template that have been used by 14,000 product managers helping them land their dream PM job offer. You can go to this website and download it for free as well. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. The fourth reason most candidates cannot get interviews or get hired in today's job market is that they don't go above and beyond. Let me give you real life examples of going above and beyond what it look like. Let's take a look at candidate number one, who already has three years experience working for a startup. Now he applied for jobs online by submitting the easy apply button on LinkedIn, and then he hit 100 different applications every night, hitting click and click and click and click. The candidate number two, who also has three years experience working for another startup, but this candidate already polished his LinkedIn and hitting all the keywords on the LinkedIn uh, descriptions, putting all the keywords and skill set and achievement on his LinkedIn experience session. And he also had a perfect 30 seconds elevator pitch. So he doesn't just hit easy apply button, he also sent his 30 seconds elevator pitch as part of his cover letter and to the hiring manager directly. Guess what? He also created his customized product portfolio and sent it directly to the hiring manager to demonstrate even if he worked for startup, but he had the same kind of skill set to pivot into larger companies or to a brand new industry. And he linked his product portfolio on, on top of his resume, on his top cover letter. He shared it everywhere in the conversation with the hybrid manager. Guess which one is going to get hired in this new job? Clearly, the candidate number two. I have free training about 30 seconds elevator pitch. You should go to this video right here and also check out my example 30 seconds elevator pitch script. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. The fifth reason people do not get hired in this job market was because they're out of practice. This is not a job market reason, this is your own problem. As I said, even last week, I have helped people negotiate it half million dollars paycheck in one of those tier one companies and she only had two years product management experience and this is just not one person will have another layoff pm also than three pm job offers and even if she was one of those thousands candidate to look for jobs however instead of become a job seeker she become a job shopper because she has three offers for for her to choose from therefore lots of candidates out there even if you had experience or even if you're fresh graduate you haven't been interviewed for a while and then you go out for interview by telling any kind of stories it's completely incorrect because landing a job is different from doing the job itself it's not about say something. It's more about say the right thing the hiring manager want to hear that can help you to move to next level and eventually get the job offers that pay you high salary. Lots of candidates out there also use a very old methodology to answer questions and the strategy to help you land a job three years ago, five years ago is completely different from the new framework people need to use in this brand new competitive job market. So therefore, I have filmed lots of free training about the new framework I invented such as the Grail framework, my company science PhD framework, and all the CBT framework and I describe all the free framework in those videos right here and right here. So make sure to check out all the free training right away and use the latest strategy to land your next PM job offer. You should also get some constructive feedback from interview coaches to tell you what went wrong in your uh, interview answers. I offer free mock interviews in my YouTube live. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and also join me for our free mock interviews as well. If you're interested in product manager acceptor program, you should also go to the link in the description to learn more about our end-to-end -end job hunting program as well. Now let's talk about the bonus, the LinkedIn algorithm hack. Lots of people didn't know the trick, but 
I figured this out. At hiring manager myself, who interviewed thousands of product managers and also hired tons of product managers working for a company and also hired other engineers working for my own startup as well. And I was able to find out that the LinkedIn algorithm has a specific hack, which is right now, LinkedIn only recommend the candidates that are very actively looking for a job. You are going to show up in the job search result if you're fresh in the market right now. So how to show that you're fresh in the market? You can turn on open to work. However, the hack is that you should turn on open to work every Monday and turn it off every Sunday and then turn it back on next Monday so that you're always fresh to the market so that you're more likely your profile is going to show up on the top of the search result. Uh, currently, a very few job interviews is more likely something's wrong with your resume and you didn't go above beyond. So once you go to this website, download the PM product manager resume template that's been used by 14,000 product manager to land the dream PM job offer. You can go to the website and download and apply the same strategies to yourself as well. Uh, also, make sure to check out my next video where I break down the step-by-step -step guide to create a killer product manager resume with each session you need to fill in with a specific examples so that you're going to use a perfect product manager resume to land your next job interview. I also love everybody to tell me once you land interview, comment in the description of this video. I love to hear about your achievement. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMAccelerator.io. I'm see you in my next video right here.